Hey, hey everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. And you know, the old has come. Well, I guess the saying the old is gone, the new has come. And when you've been with an organization like Diamond Art Club as long as I have and receiving their amazing product and seeing the progression, it, it's just, it's amazing to see how far they've come. And this pink box is just like a legacy. It's it's a dynasty, and this is probably one of the last pink boxes I will be receiving. The next box will be a blue box, and I can't wait to open it and see what's inside and see the amazing uh, new ad additions that they have received. Uh, and so I'm, I'm tearing up because this will probably be my last sneak peek with the pink box, but... It's still gonna be amazing. And as you can see, I've kind of taken it apart a little bit for you, so there's not a lot of more crinkling, but here we go. We're gonna dive in. This is Liberty Flag. It is a diamond-shaped square. It's a 23.6 by 23.6, so it is truly a 60 by 60 centimeter square. It looks like an American flag with um, the Liberty Statue of Liberty in the middle, and it's done by David Pinfound, which has been an artist before Diamond Art Club. This is the pink box. It does have the square, so you know it's a square painting, and it has the beautiful um, wax heart. It shows you the hand diamond painting on the back. It shows you how to diamond paint all the materials that come inside. This was shrink wrapped, um, beautiful inside. So it's sealed, I love. So your diamond painting is in this packaging, then it's shrink wrapped in this, and then it comes in a Diamond Art Club box as well. So, and then it comes with a toolkit, which we're gonna go through in just a minute. It comes with a sticker. This you can put in your logbook. You can also put on the end of your box if you store it that way so you know what's in it so you don't have to pull the box out. Um, you can also use this um, on top of your drills if you, um, you store your drills in a different way or your diamonds, however you wanna use this sticker. So I'm gonna place this aside. So this is the toolkit. Um, it does have little things where you can rip on the side, but one of my amazing subscribers told me you don't have to rip the top, you can just open it as is. It does have a list on what's on the back. So here are the tweezers. Now I have been told in the new kits that the tweezers are not going to be coming um, in the kits, but you can buy them separate. I do think that I would, I'm okay with that because the tweezers you can keep. So if you buy a set of tweezers that you keep them moving forward and then it causes less waste and then you can get the upgraded product of your tray, which you use more of moving forward. Then you get this amazing tray, you get the baggies, you get the heart wax. There's two of them in here. Make sure that you, you um, remove the plastic um, that covers the wax before you dip your pin into it. Um, in this toolkit, you get the random washi, you get the squishy, Here's the old style single placer pin. Here is the uh, cover minder, which comes with two magnets. One magnet is attached to the cover minder. The other magnet is um, on its own. You're gonna stick the on its own magnet on the back of your canvas, the white part. You're gonna stick the pretty part on top of the canvas where the plastic is and that holds that plastic cover back, or if you use release papers, you can put it on top of the release papers. I think that was everything. Here is your four placer and your seven placer. It can go on the other end of your pen to make it um, a dual purpose pen, multi-placer. And then here is your stopper that can go on the end of your tray to make sure when you shake your tray, your drills do not fall out. So we're gonna put this back in. I never put them back in right, so I could not work at the DAC warehouse. I think I would get let go within the first day because none of my toolkits would shut. 
and none of my drills would fit in the canvas. <laughs> okay. All right. So what I love about Diamond Art Club's canvases, they have that patent velvet. I still remember my first video when I bought and saved up for my first Diamond Art Club painting. It was amazing. Yes, I did have to save up because quality is so worth it. It is okay to save up for something that you love. Remember, you know, if I spend $40, $50 taking my family to a movie, it's going to last for two, two, three hours. And then I'm going to uh, have a bowel movement, haha, -ha, for popcorn and soda. But if I spend $50 on a diamond painting, it's going to last me 50, 60 hours of enjoyment. And then I have a piece that I can absolutely love and know that I did my artwork and supported an artist. Um, and I had fun with the community while I diamond painted. So just kind of keep that into perspective. But they have a patented velvety backdrop um, on the canvas. This is a 40 count color. You're going to have your key on the lower right, and we're going to see the key on the upper left in just a minute. They have surged edges here. You can see the lovely symbols. We're going to get a closer look in a minute. Let's unroll this. Okay. Ooh, the lolly! Look at that a beautiful Statue of Liberty. So this would be a fun 4th of July. It's coming out this weekend. So here is another sticker sheet. I have seen many people get a um, little photo book and they cut this in half and they use this on um, their drill storage so they have their drills in there and then they use this half in that uh, photo book so they know when they started and they ended like I said this is a 60 by 60 or 23.6 by 23.6 inch it is um, diamond shaped is square that is what it looks like beautiful by David Penfound absolutely gorgeous here is their thank you booklet it tells you how, it gives you a VIP code, the contents of your kit. Down here, you're going to get all of your SKU information, your pasting area. This is most important if it's um, not a full drill. A full drill means that your diamonds are going to go all the way to the end. If it's a partial, this is going to show the white areas of where your diamonds or your drills are not placed. And that lets you know. Um, this also lets you know the copyright, who the artist is, all of that fun information. The nice thing, too, is your drills are going to have the skew and the title. And so if you separate them, you can match them up as well because this doesn't have a sticker on it. This is also something else you could put your sticker on. So if you do separate the small sticker, um, then you can match them up as well. Or you can roll this up if you separate them um, and you can put the sticker on that Diamond Art Club um, wrap I showed you. So the sticker would have Liberty flag on it and this would have Liberty flag. Um, I know a lot of people store them that way in tubs. Um, this also has all of the social media. It does have a um, code that you can use, hashtag Diamond Art Club. It does have that lifetime warranty unless you resell it. And then it has do what makes you sparkle. So then let's look at here. You can see some of the symbols, even the dark ones, are very clear. Okay. And then now let's look and see, are there any specialty drills? And what I like to do is look on this sticker sheet. Anything that is above a 150 is going to be an AB. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's kind of like a, um, I like to think of it as a sequency coating. Um, and so we have one AB, and then here we have Z's. Z's are um, their fairy dust. That's a um, like a mica powder, which we'll look at in just a minute. So there's two special there. 
Euchre is just like a creamy color. It's not a special drill. It's just a type of DMC color. So this has three special drills in it. And let's find out where those special drills go. So it's going to be a little crinkle, crinkle. And then we're going to look at the colors. One thing a lot of avid diamond painters look at with squares is it's they can have because squares line up so tight where rounds can be a little bit more forgiving you can have little tags if they don't have um if they don't sharpen their molds when they cut their cuts and so many out the diamond painters make sure when they're looking at the square diamonds or drills i'm going to call them drills okay um is there any trash are there any tags or leftover plastic on the sides or on the corners of the squares because that's going to prevent them from lining up and so that's why we always look and see if there's trash or little tags and so yeah, let's see if you can look there they look like they're perfectly cut so you want to be able to use high-end metal for your cuts so here's one of the specialty. This is the Z. So this is the mica powder. And you can see it just adds a little extra shine to it. So this is Z842. Um, but that's not even on here. That's weird. Z840, what? What? Are, are you guys seeing this? This is Z842. All right. Guys, help me. There's Z815, Z162. I know I don't have my glasses on. I don't see a Z. Maybe we just got some fun stuff. I don't know. I think we just got a fun color. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Maybe we just got a fun color. You guys saw it here first. All right. So here's a Z815. I'll, I'll notify Diamond Art Club and I'll let you guys know. Z815. Let's see where the Z815s are. They are the three dots. And it looks like here... The three dots are all through the red of the flag. So they're just ch -ch 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 -ch. so it thinks there's it's kind of like a ripple. So there's gonna be some fun ripple in there. And then all these pretty colors. Alright, so you got some 939s. And just some of these normal colors. I think it's just to add some pizzazz to Lady Liberty. Give me Liberty or give me what? I don't know that line. I probably should shut up before I try to do all these lines for you. All right, so here is the Z162, which is the X. So let's see where the X is. X marks the spot. I think it's going to be up in her... Oh, here we go. So it's kind of through here, through here, um, a little bit through here. So it's just a little bit of the light blue, just a touch here and there. Yeah, just here and there, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. But you can see the mica powder gives it just a little bit of a pizzazz. And here's that AB. See, I was talking about the difference with the sequence versus the mica powder. So the AB is the dot, the white dot. And that's right here, and right here, right here, up in her nose. And it just kind of highlights up here. It's, that's about it. So just, just little highlights. Okay, and then the last train. I didn't realize there'd be some 890, but that makes sense to add some depth 
to it. There's a lot of this um, different teals and blues for Lady Liberty. They did a good job doing some depth in that. I didn't think I'd like this, but now that I see the colors, I think I do. But yeah, I'm going to ask about, they might have forgotten to add, let me see here, dot, 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 because I see, it looks like, let's see here, I'm going to ask what that symbol is, because maybe they forgot to add a symbol. Because there's 840, 841, and then it jumps to 844. So I'm gonna ask Diamond Art Club about that, and I will get back to you and let you know. One thing I didn't talk about is they did add a perforated, you can see here, um, they did do perforated, Covers. So right here, got to be gentle, but they do perforate. And then I think they're like a four by six area. But you can perforate. See? There you go. So, I hope that, sorry about my fingers, I hope that helps. Do, 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 do. It's poured glue. I hope you have an amazing time and fun doing this Lady Liberty. I will find out about that um, mica powder, 842. I'll let you know in the description below once I find that out. So, Enjoy the sneak peek. Thank you so much for all the love and I hope you have a happy 4th of July because that's our um, wonderful um, Independence Day here in the United States. So until next time, be blessed, take care, bye-bye.